बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मानवर अब मेरा विनम्र निवेदन माननीय उपराष्ट्रपति जी एवं राज्यसभा सभापति श्री जगदीप धनखड़ जी से कि आप हम सभी का मार्ग प्रशस्त करें ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ भारत श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर लोकसभा श्री ओम बिरला जी श्री प्रहलाद जोशी जी यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स श्री पीयूष गोयल जी लीडर ऑफ हाउस राज्यसभा ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर्स श्री अधीर रंजन चौधरी लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन इन लोकसभा श्री मल्लिकार्जुन खड़गे जी लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन राज्यसभा ऑनरेबल डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन राज्यसभा एंड ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट गणेश चतुर्थी की सभी को हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने अचानक होमवर्क दे दिया और प्रधानमंत्री जी के बाद बोलना अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी चुनौती है ऑन दिस मोमेंट ऑफ सकेजन एज वी स्टैंड ऑन दी थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ एडिंग अ न्यू चैप्टर to the annals of our parliamentary democracy i congratulate you all on our phenomenal rise we all are indeed privileged to be witnessing this history in the making as we bid adieu to this magnificent parliament building which houses both the chambers of our parliament and this imposing central hall and move to the new one traversing over seven decade journey from samvidhan sabha to the present day in amritkal these hallowed precincts have witnessed many a milestone honorable members from twist with destiny at midnight of 15th august 1947 to unfolding of innovative impactful forward looking gst regime at midnight of june 30 2047 and now this significant day in this very central hall the members of the constituent assembly embarked upon the journey to accomplish the daunting task of drafting the constitution of india deliberations in the constituent assembly in this theater exemplified decorum and held the debate contentious issues were negotiated in a spirit of consensus with scholarly debate and spirited deliberations honorable members we all need to emulate the exemplary conduct of our founding founding fathers the new building of parliament a testament to dawn of atmanirbhar bharat it must be beyond an architectural marvel it is reflection of india's rich cultural diversity a symbol of national pride unity and identity impactfully organized g20 resulted in demonstration of india's global power the new building of parliament bharat mandapam and yasho bhumi are the most recent infrastructure masterpieces competing with the best in the world these iconic venues are set to play a pivotal role in shaping india's tomorrow honorable members the world now realizes that our nation is on the rise as never before and this rise is unstoppable Bharat is defining global discourse shaping their outcome and has emerged as significant player among the committee of nations Bharat is dominating as an agenda setter for global peace 
climate transition and economic development on par with other leading players. In this encouraging scenario, generating hope and optimism all around, I find it a befitting occasion to congratulate Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his sagacious approach, people-centric vision, missionary zeal, and exemplary execution. Salute and appreciate contribution of the people in all walks of life and our bureaucracy that is enjoined with execution of policies. Honorable members, time has come to give up once and for all the premise of justifying transgression of conduct and outrageous disregard of rules in the temples of democracy by making reference to past instances. As we march into the new parliament building, we must enhance cooperation and consensual approach. Time for us to bid farewell to confrontational stance and resolve to ever keep national interest uppermost. Honorable members, it is time, right time, to bury the strategy of weaponizing disturbance and disruption in parliamentary functioning, as these are antithetical to democratic values and can never have sanction of our people who are our ultimate masters. I would like to quote Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who in his final speech in the Constituent Assembly stated, I quote, if we wish to maintain democracy, not merely in form, but also in fact, what must we do? The first thing in my judgment we must do is to hold fast to constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic objectives, unquote. Let us heed his clarion call. On this decisive moment, as we are witnessing the transformation of Bharat, appreciations to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision and sagacity for fructifying tryst with modernity. We had tryst with destiny in 1947. We are lucky and fortunate by efforts of the Prime Minister that we are having today tryst with modernity for over a billion hearts. His role in this monu monumental task of shaping the destiny, destiny of one-sixth of humanity would forever be etched in history. Honorable members, this historic walk to the new building of parliament in Amritkal be the march to Bharat at 2047 as developed nation. Let us in togetherness make the new chambers of the parliament the sanctum, sanctorum of our temple of democracy, Jai Hind.